just like in any other e-commerce website, the cart page will basically show a list of all the products you want to buy along with a shop or a cart total. So we're going to build ours using a very simple table layout. Let's begin. To create our cart, let's simply uh, copy one of these artboards, create a blank page, paste it in, then uh, rename our page to cart. Now here on the top, we're going to switch things up a little bit. This will be uh, menu item active. This will be inactive, and we're going to move this indicator. We're going to resize it, and we'll uh, realign things with our grid. In here, we're going to say home, shop, and cart. And then we'll, uh, we'll actually get rid of all of this content since we don't need it like that. Similar themes as well. So we're just left with the header and footer. Now, in our shopping cart, we'll basically have a table with all of our products, and then a total and a button to continue to check out. Let's start with the uh, table headers. We're going to start with item, and we're going to use the H5 left style. We'll align this with our grid. Let's group it as cart. And let's not forget about a navigation up that uh, navigation up light like this, align it in the center, put it inside the cart, and we're ready to start. So we're going to do this item. And then let's actually group this as table. And inside the table, we're going to have the table header. So we'll have item support, quantity, price, and subtotal. Subtotal will be the last one here. And then we're going to follow this with a thick HR. So thick HR, five pixel radius, five pixels height. And of course, we'll resize it to match our um, grid here, like that. And then let's begin with the rows. Now the first uh, type of product that we can have in our cart is a theme. And the theme has a title, it has information about support. It has a quantity with plus and minus controls, It has a price and it has a subtotal. So let's start with the actual theme name, we're going to say theme. Ascension, for example, TISA Pro text color 20 pixels. We'll put it here and we'll set it at 15 pixels from uh, the thick HR. Now, for the support, uh, let's actually move these a bit further to the right. So, support should be, uh, let's say, somewhere around here. For the support, we're going to say six months free. And also, we'll have the option to add one more year. So we can purchase support separately for themes. And this one actually will be a link. And I need it to be italic. So actually, I'm just going to create another um, text element here. Add one more ear, it's going to be italic, and it's going to be 16 pixels like that. Then let's see about the quantity. And for quantity, actually, we're going to use uh, some secondary buttons. So let's see, let's, uh, let's actually create our buttons from scratch here, we're going to use 30 pixels for the button height or no, actually, let's go with 45 pixels, or even 60. Let's go with 60. Since that's the size of our default buttons, right? Okay, so let's go with this. And let's align these two. Let's use this style, add some rounded corners, make sure that 
we're using the correct 15 pixels distance or margin top. And then inside, I'm going to have a text that says, well, minus, basically. And we're going to use the BTN secondary light BG text. And if we want, we can actually use an underscore because it is slightly bigger. And we can go to type convert text to outlines. And we can do this. All right, so this is BTN minus. And then we can create a BTN plus where we'll be using a plus sign there. We can even make these a bit bigger, for example, about 15 pixels in height. And we'll do 15 in width for this one. Okay, so that's much clearer. And then we need the actual quantity. So we're going to use this type of text. We're just going to say one. And we're going to make it bold this time. And we're going to position it just like that. So 30 on each side. So that um, that is it for the quantity, basically. Let's see, we can actually bring these to the left a little bit. So there is room for uh, the price. And let's set these at about 90 pixels from the existing content there. Then we're going to have the price here. Let's position this at 60. And finally, we'll have the subtotal, which will be right aligned, and it will be bold, like this. And this is one row for a, a theme, basically. So when you're buying a theme, this is what you get. So let's say row uh, theme. This here is thick HR. And as part of the row, we also need a line, a separator line. So the line should be 1186 light border color, and we'll position it at 15 pixels from the buttons. All right, so that is one row. Now, when we purchase uh, a support extension for a specific theme, we can put that extension right under the theme itself in the cart. So for this, uh, let's actually duplicate this row. And let's not forget about the line there. All right. And here, basically, uh, support, we don't need these bits. And instead of these buttons, yeah, we'll delete these, we'll just have regular text, like, for example, one year, that's the that's the quantity, the price, let's say it's 15. And the total will be again. Now here, we're going to say something like theme support extension to let's say January 21st, 2017. And this will actually push to the right. And we need a way to indicate that this support extension is for this theme. Well, we can easily do that with an icon. And I'm going to use an icon from font awesome that looks something like this. Let me zoom in. And I'm going to position it properly now 15. Uh, actually, actually, I'm going to align this with the actual text. That's much better. And then of course, position this at 30 pixels from this edge here just like that. And the text, let's put put it at about 15 pixels from the icon itself. So now we get this bit. Now let's uh, get this. And let's realign it. And with that, we have the first two rows of our cart. Now let's just add, for example, another theme. Let's rename this first as row theme extension. And then what if we want to purchase a theme support extension for a theme that's not in our cart. So maybe we bought a theme like two months ago. And now we want to buy a support extension for it. Well, we can uh, do that as well. So let's duplicate this 
theme extension extension row only this time we don't have this icon this will go right here and we're going to say theme support extension for and a theme name let's say white space one year 15 and 15 and then we're going to have a cart total and we're going to say here total and just a random value there and we also need a uh, primary default button that says continue to checkout so for that let's see the symbols are btn primary let's bring that in so remove the symbol and let's make this smaller like 60 continue to checkout and this is actually btn primary uh, default. So the default refers to its size. Let's bring this into cart like that, like that, and let's create a symbol out of the button. And that's it basically. Now we just need to, um, let's see, add some navigation. We have the navigation on the top here. And let's go ahead and add a navigation down light like that and do the usual adjustments from here all right and that is it for the cart basically now the next logical step from the cart is the checkout so coming up next we'll design the checkout pages